13 about? 13 is a coming of age show. And um, if you've ever been 13, or if you're going to be 13, or if you are 13, um, those are the people that will identify with this show. It's also done in kind of a rock concert genre, you know, which is also something new for us. We haven't done that before. And so you can come and rock out and you'll, every person that's there will get something different from the show because it's either gonna be this aha moment of, I remember how that felt, you know, when I was 13, or it's gonna be that, yeah, you know, that's how I feel, you know, I identify with that, or, oh, is that gonna happen to me? <laughs> you know, kind of feeling. So everybody's gonna get something from this, this show that comes to see it. I would say that Charity and 13 are both PG. You know, not PG-13, but that parents should be aware that there may be some mature material in both of the shows. And, um, you know, so probably younger, show, younger children are not right for those two shows. You talk about the actors coming from all over the, everywhere, Las Vegas, Sacramento, just to be in this, these productions. Talk a little bit about the dedication that these kids have. It's summertime, they're out of school, and yet, you know, they're so in love with this that they're spending all their time here. Absolutely. I mean, you walk in the building and um, at different times of the day, and it is filled with everything from five year olds to 23 year olds that are here working in rehearsal, working in camps. Um, working in technique classes and the dedication is huge but you can what I love about that process is that we're seeing children this building filled with children with passion and that is something that's really lacking I think in youth today is that you know they they go through school and they you know they they get the grades to go to a good college but if you ask them what their passion is and or ask them what they're passionate about you know, they say, well, I'm going to find that in, in college sometime, you know. And the great thing about theater children are that they're so broad. You know, you think that you're looking at children that are only passionate about one thing, which is theater. But what theater does is introduces such a big world to them, you know, about issues and about um, different kinds of people and different kinds of um, eras, you know, of theater, you know, and, and genres of theater. And so we're developing people that are passionate about life. Yeah, I think they're more in touch with life and things that happen in right. life just because of the, uh, just the experience they have in theater as well. And they become great communicators. You know, I was sitting in um, a, a wrap up of what we have, uh, we have a boot camp, a musical theater boot camp here that's currently going on. And I was sitting in the wrap up of that yesterday after the first day of that. And the children went around, there's 40 kids in this, and they went around the circle and each one of them were able to give a couple of sentences about how they felt about the day. And listening to how articulate each of those children were, they were giving different, each, each child something really different, not I just heard that from this child, but they were really able to articulate how they felt about the day and what they got from the day and what they hoped to get from the days following it and everything. And that also, I think, is rare, rare communication, being able to look at someone and really hear them and really uh, respond to what they're saying is rare, not only with children, but with adults these days because of all the technology that we carry around with us. And so theater cuts through so much of that. And so this building is feel, filled with great communicators and people that are passionate about what they do. And so. It does involve a lot of dedication, but it also um, invo involves so much joy for anyone that's connected to it, yeah. You've been a part of so many great shows. Do you have a favorite show? Well, I have favorites in different genres. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> you know, so like I love 42nd Street because it is, it's such a classical musical, big Hollywood musical kind of show, you know, and everything. And the fact that we were able to pull that off in three weeks, you know, with all the original choreography, it's absolutely one of my favorite shows. Um, you know, but I've, each summer and each time I go through a season, I say to myself, wow, this was the best one ever, you know? And I think- how yeah, they keep getting the yeah, best, right? You know, but that's, I think that that's part of the nature of this beast also is that, and it's how things continue to maintain excellence and um, freshness here at this place is that the last one you did is the best one you ever did, you know, and that's in the next one you do, you have to get that much more excited about it and that much more 
um, invested in what's going to happen with it, you know, and so. Because the next one's going to be the best one, right? Right, yeah. Right, you know, so I'm pretty sure that Sweet Charity is going to be the you best know. show I've ever seen. <laughs> Thirteen is just going to blow that out of the water. <laughs> you come and see a piece of theater right here in the South Bay area that you don't have to travel to the city for. You're not paying $65 or $75. And yes, it is youth theater, but it's youth theater done in a very professional yeah. way, you know. And, and I think it's also something that once people are here in the building, you're not just coming to see a piece of children's theater. You're coming to see an investment in all of our futures you know, and, and seeing who is going to be leading us and who is going to be touching our lives in the future. And to have that moment on the stage with those actors is something that people will carry with them for a very, very long time. Well, I think that, you know, so many people go to the movies, but the first time you go and see live theater, is such an amazing experience and I'm like a multiple I'll see the same show five times because yeah. I, don't, I love that but it does touch you in a way that you just you can't experience until you're there right and another really cool thing that we do here is that we do outreaches for um, inner city and underserved areas and um, we bring kids in from all over the city and when we do those the kids on the stage are many times the very first theater experience for the kids in the audience. And so it's so powerful for both entities. And then when we do the Q&A afterwards, and these kids in the audience get an opportunity to ask questions of the actors on the stage, theater becomes accessible to them in a way that no, in, that no other opportunity could make it accessible to them, you know, because kids that look like them and sound like them and, you know, go to school and do homework are doing something that n now they feel like maybe they can do too, Absolutely. you know. And how far out do you start to cast the casting process? We cast all three of these shows in May, and yeah. so 13 that doesn't even start rehearsal till the end of July was cast in May. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to actually talk to some of the actors in Sweet Charity, and um, remember to come out to the Norris Theater, Sweet Charity. The dates again are July the 16th. Through the 25th. Okay, the 25th, Debbie. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Thank you for asking, asking me to be here today. Yeah.